Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from Trader Joe's. I spent $97 and some change, and I will jump right in. So I'll start with the produce. I got some shredded kale, and I also got some organic broccoli florets and some green cabbage. Last time I got green cabbage and kale, I made a stir fry and it was really good. So I plan on doing that again with the kale and the green cabbage. Also grabbed some buttermilk biscuits for a recipe that I am going to be making for one of our dinners. And then um, I got Howard this jerk chicken burrito. It was in the refrigerated section. For those of you that don't know, my husband is Jamaican. And every time I see something jerk, I try to grab it for him. And so he's excited about this. There it says spicy jerk chicken meat, coconut rice, dark red kidney beans, fruit salsa, and a flour tortilla. And I grabbed a couple of lemons because I plan on making um, some cookies or pies not sure which yet. And then I grabbed some refried beans for our dinner. Um, grabbed some orzo for a recipe that I saw that uh, I can't wait to try. And then I also grabbed some enchilada sauce because I need that for a recipe as well. I have mentioned before how much I love their taco seasoning mix. Every time I go, I grab, well, almost every time I go, I grab some of their taco seasoning mix. It is really good. Unlike anything else that's on the market, it's only 79 cents and one package seasons two pounds of ground beef or turkey or whatever. And so um, I think there are four tablespoons in here, I think. So I just usually use half of the package to season one pound of beef for us and then I just save the rest for later. I have wanted to try these for a while. I really do like almond butter and I like almonds. So um, I was excited to try these. They are covered, these are almonds covered in a sweetened almond butter coating. And then um, I grabbed two of these tarts. Howard and I really like these. I went to a different Trader Joe's today. Um, the one that I normally go to, it's close to my house. This one is about 20 minutes away and it's bigger and they tend to have more things. So when I went to my local Trader Joe's last time, they did not have these tarts. So um, I did find them again at the other Trader Joe's. So I grabbed two. They are just flatbread with ham and uh, Swiss cheese and they are so good. They're kind of small, so you do need to eat something with it. Like it's it fits for, it's for Howard and I, of course. So I usually have a salad or something like that. And then I have heard so many great things about this flatbread and um, wanted to give it a try. And then um, this is a seasonal item, this peaches and cream tart. And I heard it's pretty good, so I'm excited to try this out as well. And I think it was like $4.99 or something like that. I grabbed shallots because I love shallots and I'll probably use, the, use these in the um, kale stir fry, I'm not sure. And then I grabbed some of these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I have a um, recipe that calls for these, so I just grabbed them. And then I grabbed some pork pot stickers. We really like these things a lot. And then I grabbed Howard a couple of bags of these jerk style plantain chips. He really likes these a lot. And I'm not a big plantain chip person, but these have a really good flavor. And they were only $1.79 a bag, so grab two. And then another seasonal item that they had were these citrus mousse cakes. So a couple of years ago, they had a chocolate mousse cake um, right around Christmas time and it was really good. That was my first time being introduced to mousse cakes and so I was excited to see these because I love citrus. I've heard that the lemon is a lot stronger in flavor than the orange and the orange is just meh. But uh, so we'll see, so grab that. And then um, last time I was at Trader Joe's, I grabbed their regular naan. And this was in the frozen section. So I wanted to give the garlic naan a try. I think I have tried this a long time ago, but decided to give that a try. Again, my last haul, I grabbed this uh, rice orzo pilaf mix and it was really good. We liked it, so I grabbed it again. And I'll make sure to leave um, a link for my last Trader Joe's haul um, in the description box so you can see what I picked up then. Um, okay, 
grabbed these peach bars for Harrison. He hasn't had a lot of, that's our one-year-old, he hasn't had a lot of peach things, so I wanted to give these a try. He does like cereal bars, so we'll see if he likes them. And then he also needed some milk as well. Another seasonal item was this uh, Southern Peach Crisp Ice Cream with peach puree and a crunchy buttery oat crisp. I got this for Howard because he likes stuff like that. Um, I've been hearing good things about this pasta. It was in the frozen section and it says it is pasta filled with ricotta, um, some cheese I can, can't pronounce, tel, telgio, I don't know, and mozzarella and a creamy tomato based sauce. So I figured this would be a quick lunch or dinner item for us. And I grabbed this pasta. I have wanted to try this for a while, but Howard does really not like black pepper and basically that's what this is. So I figured I would get it for myself for like a lunch or something like that. And I've heard really good things about these peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, so I wanted to give those a try. Same with these, I heard these are good. These are, I, I heard like really teeny tiny, well, they say it on the package. They're really small pretzels and I love strawberry and vanilla, so wanted to give that a try. I have purchased this before and I really liked it and I needed some more. And then um, I also grabbed these crispy peanut butter filled milk chocolate peanuts. It says peanut shaped milk chocolate filled with peanut butter and crispy rice. And um, I heard that they are really good. And so I grabbed two just in case it's hard to find them again. So I grabbed two of those. And then the last thing that I grabbed, I was checking out and I saw this bag. It was 99 cents. It says George Washington Carver is the man and it has peanuts and it has everything um, all about peanuts on here, basically. There you go. So I thought that was a really cute bag. So this is everything that I picked up on my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.